just it, it's like not hacks but like i've seen like iphone i guess it's iphone hacks or tricks and stuff oh, like that yeah. not that i would ever use it but there is this iphone trick where like if for all you cheaters out there <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to communicate with someone and you don't want it to come through text message you can actually go through your notes and have a full-blown conversation without it coming through text. Welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast, where no topic is off limits. We're the girlfriends that keep it real and give you different perspectives, because we know one way isn't always the right way. Hey guys, welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast. I'm LC. I'm MB. I'm Ma. And my name is Cash. All right, so as always, uh, welcome Thanks for joining us for this episode. Uh, we're going to start off with our drink of choice. And today, my drink of choice is hard kombucha. So um, have you guys had kombucha? I yes. have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's basically like um, tea with some sugar and something else. And good bacteria. They, like, yeah, fermented. It's yeah. really, really good for you. Like people claim it's good for everything from digestion to like cancer preventing you know nothing's like proven but supposedly it's really good for you i used to drink it all the time but this is the hard version not sure if you get all those benefits with the alcohol in there but <laughs> let's let's try them so can we go around and tell like what flavors you got yeah i have a watermelon raz and mine is yum berry mine is grapefruit splash mango all right let's see do we cheers, like it? cheers. cheers. A little warm, but Sour it's good. Yeah. It is really tarty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know what? It's actually not bad. I can taste the berries. Okay. Yeah. It's actually not bad compared to a lot of other kombucha I've had because okay. it's definitely way more tarty. Oh, okay. this, this very one's... tarty. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? And also, you know, I didn't... Um, I forgot to refrigerate this, so it's a little bit warmer. So that's more room temperature. Warm. Yeah, it's a little bit more room temperature. <laughs> that's probably like why it's so tired to too. You know, it's, it's actually too. not bad. I, I like mine. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's if you like uh, mixed drinks and stuff, uh -huh. you'll like it. Yeah, yeah, I, I I don't mind it. It definitely would be better if it was <coughs> chill. Mm -hmm. But overall, Ooh, dry. It's not the worst kombucha I've had. Yeah, six percent <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> You'll get some health benefits, hopefully. Don't know with alcohol. Anyway, all right. So this episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about life hacks, some little tips and tricks that you guys might have learned along the way or just, you know, um, lately there's been a lot of social media posts about little things that people are learning about different things in life. And I know that we're all just trying to adult and trying to get by. So I wanted to kind of bring that up. So one thing that I heard of that was like really interesting, would you cut your cake with floss? Never. No. Only okay, because I- Okay, unflavored floss. I just no. think that it's more inconvenient no. for me to go grab the floss to do it. I think a knife is just so much easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you know, if you do it with a floss, it's gonna be clean and neat and it won't like, you know, well, how sloppy are your hands? Like, it's no, it's nice. It gets nice. stuck. It gets stuck in the it cake. Yeah, I, I do you know? know what you mean, but like a lot of the time, the cake is in the kitchen, and I have to go grab the floss in the bathroom. <laughs> uh -huh. So I think maybe it's just laziness. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna grab the knife. Well, I would think that the only time you would really care to get a floss for that really clean cut is if it's not at home, but if it's somewhere special where it's for the presentation, like yeah. at a wedding. Yeah. But why would you use <laughs> floss to cut yeah. at a wedding? <laughs> that does not make sense. <laughs> That's just not. That's what you so should do right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please do that. I'm going to hold the other hand, guys. Okay, ready? So that defeats the purpose. <laughs> We'll do that for a wedding, just just for this episode. That, is <laughs> that would be so funny. You'll have a beautifully cut cake. <laughs> that's true yeah whoever gets married next <laughs> that, that, but you know i think the floss idea would have been good because when we did our gender reveal mm. i felt like we oh, kind of yeah. saw the, <laughs> the, knife? the color on the knife when you lift it yeah, up yeah exactly yeah. Oh. so that would have been a really good idea oh, that's yeah, a good cool. timing for it yeah yeah have you guys uh, heard of any tricks or learned any tricks along the way well i was just looking at some 
Uh huh. And um, I do have a few. Okay. So something that so MB really likes grapes. Uh, if you mm -hmm. watched our last episode, I love it. We might have mentioned it. So an idea on how to chill white wine without watering it down is to freeze some green grapes and then throwing those green grapes into the white wine. Mm. So that would look pretty too. Yeah, that yeah. look pretty and it won't water it down. Yeah, because that um, doesn't like melt. Yeah, down, right? that's yeah. actually a really good idea. Me and my fiance, we like drinking white wine more than red wine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And you know how it is when you have, you buy a bottle of white wine and it's room temperature, okay, no. you stick it in the freezer because yeah. you're just hoping that it gets cold fast. Yeah. But also I love grapes so much that I don't want to go to waste. It. Yeah. Yeah, the wine. That's how much I love grapes. Eat it after. <laughs> you just eat it. It might make it soggy though. I like no, eat it. I'm it's such soggy. a. I'm such a. Oh, the ice. Yeah, I'm such a grape snob <laughs> that like when it doesn't have the crunch, I don't like it. I need to hear it. Mm, if you're right. eating it, I need to hear it. Oh my gosh! Wow. You're yeah, really it's like fresh grapes. Yeah, yeah grape it has consumer. to be like that. Like, I remember one time I went to get grapes and it was so good, like. I think we were living together. Was it the ten dollar ones? I, no, 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 no. Okay, ten dollar grapes. But I yes. remember telling oh. Mo, like, you know what? This grape is so good. You should have some. She didn't have some yet. I finished the whole bag, so I had to go buy another bag. <laughs> <laughs> so she had it. It's so good. But then I also think, like, because I love it so much, I got my daughter hooked on it. She oh. loves grape. She always Aww. asks for grape. Oh, that's so, so cute. cute. When she wakes up, she'll be like, "Great." Oh. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> What about, did you guys know that you can use a triple A battery in, in place of a double A battery? All you have to do is like, like, um, wad up a piece of aluminum and put it in between the space. Oh, really? Yeah, that's crazy. I, I haven't wow. tried that, but supposedly that's like a good hack. Cause I'm always like, I don't have the right size battery. Wait, so you're saying if you have the triple A, just throw a bunch of aluminum in there and the energy will <laughs> <throw those. laughs> <laughs> well, not really, but you know, like, because it's not going to be the same exact size. So yeah. You need to wad up an aluminum and right. make it connect. Yeah. So as long as you're getting yeah. that connection, yeah. it should work. Yeah, supposedly. I'm, I'd be scared of an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be scared of combustion. <laughs> Cash is like, I'll no. just go buy it. Yeah, I'll just go to the store real quick. <laughs> I'm always looking for the right size um, batteries. And I actually recently bought like, a whole bunch of double A, triple A, and a charger. Uh -huh. So they're always like charging, they're rechargeable. And so they're always like charging. So that I can add, just have battery. That's better for the environment. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, but that that's a cool hack. I'm I'm gonna test it out and let you guys know if it, if it works. Yeah, tell me if it works. I'm if she curious. catches on fire, I'll let you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Okay. Do you guys have any hacks that you know that you've heard of or that you've? Just it, learned? It's like not hacks, but like I've seen like iPhone. I guess it's iPhone hacks or tricks and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah. Not that I would ever use it. But there is this iPhone trick where like- For all you cheaters out there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to communicate with someone and you don't want it to come through text message, you can actually go through your notes That's and have easy. a full blown conversation without it coming through text. But I still That's don't fun. understand how the other person gets to access your notes. Uh, I'll show you. I'll oh, have to really? like Google it. And oh, okay. And show yeah, you. She, she we did a test. We did it. We tested it, it out. Yeah, yeah we oh tested it out. Wow. Okay, if any, we can use that for if you get kidnapped too. <laughs> oh my. No, well, I mean, I, I not have your phone. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. 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 You, 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 if you get kidnapped, you would not be doing that. You'd be yeah. dialing 911. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I get kidnapped, I need you to know where I'm at. Please read my messages. <laughs> <laughs> not a secret message. Yeah. I also heard. And this is like, if let's say you're stranded and your iPhone or your phone in general is about to die, they're like, what you should do is go into your voicemail and do the recording. Like, this is where I'm at, blah, blah, blah. And say whatever you need to say. Oh, so that way when your phone dies, then let's say you're trying to reach me, your family, they'll hear your voicemail and they'll be able to try to locate you. Ooh. I have heard that too. I yeah. have heard that too. That's but, a nice yeah. hack. But I've never tried it and we should try it because I, I always thought you needed some kind of reception to change your voicemail, but maybe that's not No, true. but if you're, if you like, let's say you only have like 3% left. So what you should do is go into your voicemail setting and record where you're at right. and that you need help. Because then when your oh. phone dies, like if your family was to mm -hmm. call you, 
they'll go through your voicemail right away, right? Because mm-hmm. your phone is dead. Oh, okay. And they'll be able to like... So you're not saying in a place without reception. No. You're saying no, in a place no. with reception. Yeah. Like okay, it, it's it. more like, because your phone's not going to last forever. And got depending it. on mm-hmm. like where you are, you should just record it. So that way they know and they can mm-hmm. seek help. But even if you don't have reception, it goes to your voicemail, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're yeah. still going to hear the voicemail. But I don't yeah, know if right? you can update your voicemail if you don't have reception. Yeah, no, I mean, it's what that's what saying. Say. Yeah. Oh, you're like, how yeah. like, if we're at the mountain, we don't have reception, I don't no, think you can update, update your voicemail. It, no. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. So. No. I don't know. I always think of camping, yeah. camping situations. How about someone volunteers to go to the mountains and change their voicemail? <laughs> you you I, and should have done I that will volunteer to call you. <laughs> <laughs> we should change the voicemail before we go on yes. the hike. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. On the hike, yeah. Exactly. That's true. That's that would, that would think cause, about. I feel like that would cause panic. My I'm sister necessary. will call me and be like, yeah, that could. Uh, no, just, just like if you don't hear back in three days when I should be back in LA. Three days? Or oh, however, however long. <laughs> however long your yeah. trip is. Oh, yeah. 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 I remember when me and Ma, we were going to go to Death Valley. She said she was talking to her sister-in-law, right? Yeah. And her sister-in-law's like, are you crazy? Do you know there's a reason why it's called Death Valley? <laughs> yeah. Have you guys lost socks when doing laundry? Hmm. Yes. When it, they yes. just disappear. It's like yeah. little orphans. Like, we have a collection. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you guys know why that happens? No, where do, yeah, where do there's they all a monster in the, in the washer. <laughs> the sock the monster <laughs> that hates my socks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Like, apparently, like, the static, it gets caught in different things, and and then it, I don't know. I don't know where it goes. There's a vortex. But anyway, a trick is that you put it in uh, one of those mesh laundry bags so that you keep all your sacks together um, so that they don't, like, oh, yeah, get caught up in yeah, laundry. I typically do that for my undergarments, like, my bras, yeah, so yeah. it doesn't, like, lose yeah. the shape and stuff. Yeah. I don't really do that for socks. I really should do it for like my daughter's socks because it's like really so itty bitty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, versus like my socks, it's big enough that it's like whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I guess it's just socks, so it's not that big a deal. Whereas bras, that's important. Yeah, yeah. you know that will go into the best part. Wait, finding a partnerless sack is like sad. So I have um, a hack that I saw, um, and I don't know if you guys would do this, but they said to put your money. Inside of a, uh, oh yeah, a pad, pad, pad. a pad, like a, um, pad yeah, wrapping, a like pad yeah, wrapper, wait, wrapper. Pad? Yeah. like a, a women feminine um, napkin pad. You know how it folds and then it sticks. Yeah, they're saying like to put fold your money in there and <laughs> no one will look in there. So if you have like a, you know, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll put an image up. But basically, it's just a pad with a plastic wrap, and they say put your money in there because no one's gonna take it. But why, why are you, yeah, like, yeah, that was my next Maybe yeah, why are you laying or maybe if you, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I guess like when I travel, I don't really carry cash uh-huh. in general. Yeah. Oh, you do when you go overseas though. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I guess in that situation, it makes sense. But I guess if it's inter- international. Yeah. yeah. Usually with international, you, you carry cash. Because you're like converting mm-hmm. um, to the local currency. So but, you're carrying that currency around. But honestly, it's going to be a really thick pad. <laughs> Okay. Maybe two pads. Pad. Two pads. Yeah. Okay, two pads. Pad. Several <laughs> pads. Yeah, no, no I'd rather just carry in a fanny pack on me. Well, yeah. if I, but you put it in the pad. In the pad. In the fanny <laughs> pack. Uh, pack. So if they're like, what's in your bag? You know, you're like, all I have is, all I have is my pad. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be like that time my car got broken into you. And you know my car's really clean, right? Mm-hmm. And so they broke into my car and they did go through my pad uh purse. Oh they did? Yeah. Oh, they didn't really. take the pads, did they? I did they I don't have pads, I have tampons. So they like okay. they they dug through it, they took everything out of it. I wonder if they would have left your money pad. No, they wouldn't they would have found the money because it was literally disheveled. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, they were rummaging Maybe so they, hard. Yeah, yeah. So they, out. They're like, they're like, her car's so clean. There's nothing in here. We gotta find something. <laughs> yeah. Out. Or maybe they knew about the hack and they it, were, they were after they the were looking for the bag. I don't think these are that smart. <laughs> I think they're, they're trying, trying to, they're, they're trying like, to be in and out. Yeah. They're not like trying to like, hmm, where yeah. else would it be? Let me open up this. Let me see if there's money in here. <laughs> So, you know, no matter like how many hacks we learn or all these tips and tricks and or no matter how smart you think you are, you're always we always end up saying dumb things and doing dumb things once in a while. So I kind of wanted to line it up by talking about some of those or like 
just things that you claim to know. Um, what uh, are those <laughs> things that you didn't well, know? Okay, so I, things that you've done. <laughs> I I had no idea. I was not sure, but I, I thought like with tampons, you just flush them down the toilet, and and you see the notes that say, "Do not dispose of any unsanitary." napkins or, or whatever else into the toilet, except for toilet items. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna throw a pad down there, yeah. you know, but that's what I thought they were referring to. So, so this, this I've always flushed tampons down the toilet until a month ago. So this is a story, <laughs> um, Cash texts us to the group, and I was like, you guys, I have a question. I have a stupid question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can we flush um, tampons? And I go, yeah, you can. No, me and Mar are like, no. Like, no. Like, I, I think they're made so that you can flush them. No. <laughs> you just don't flush them because it's really easy for you to clog the toilet by doing that. And that's why LC's that. toilet is always clogged. Uh -huh. <laughs> but but yes. the thing is, that so, makes sense. Yes, it, it's not number two, it's her tampon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I keep clogging this like oh, super wait. powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Your toilet's always clogged? Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing because I have this super powerful like flush. Like it's not a normal toilet. And but I get it's caught all all the time and but now I know why. I've been doing that for my whole life at my mama's house back in Minnesota. <laughs> you guys <laughs> must have really good We've never like, had toilets. any issues. Very durable. They're ruining the environment, guys. <laughs> well and I thought sorry. Okay, sorry. Here, here's what I thought. A tampon is disgusting you know why would you what, what, you, else, what, what, you wrap what else it up though what else do you do that's with what it? i said to them like, go on like, the toilet what no. are you doing with it like are you like flinging it around <laughs> <laughs> i don't, I don't no, understand yeah. but like you wrap it up yeah if just like so I wrap gross. up my pads. Gross. Yeah, just yeah. like with my pads. Just like how I you wrap pads. up your pads, you wrap up the tampon. Yeah, so gross. Well, I mean, now, now I do it. Now I do it because <laughs> now I realize, hey, nobody taught me this. <laughs> but these, I, I guess, it. these are things like when we're talking about this. What are things that you were never taught and you just had to learn yourself? Yeah, Please leave sure. it in the comment below. I yes. want to know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, really yeah. funny stuff. Yeah, that's um, very interesting because to me, I felt like it was universal. Yeah. It and wasn't like we were taught. I just thought it was common sense. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, I'm not trying to clog the toilet, so let me wrap it up. That you don't throw anything in the toilet unless it's toilet paper. Yeah. I didn't, I thought it was just pad. Pad is just like toilet paper. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's what uh, I thought. also not those necessarily. Oh. Those yeah. images, yeah, they look just like pads. No, they, no, it, it, it's, it's actually a tampon. A, it's literally a round. I've never, no, I've never seen a tampon. With no str uh, there's no string. Hey, you know what? It. We're going to enter. Yeah, we're going to enter a photo here. No, just to prove. I've never seen a tampon. Just to prove that it's yeah. a tampon <laughs> image. Yeah. She tried to convince me the picture was of a tampon. It is. It is. Oh my God. It is. I've never seen it in my whole life. No, I yeah, agree. Yeah. That just shows how oblivious you are. <laughs> no, no. I've seen those signs and I'm like, no. I hope people don't throw stupid stuff down the toilet. You know? <laughs> hey, you are flushing <laughs> down. Yes. 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 I had no idea. I, I no didn't idea. know either. I'm, I'm with you there. Nobody mm. taught me this. Well, nobody taught us. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's just things that you know that don't go down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. With blonde moments, yeah, I felt like moments. I had a lot. <laughs> okay. So the thing is, it's like, I'm not dumb. It's just like sometimes like, you know, sometimes you're like, I'm thinking out loud and I don't expect people to respond. I will always respond. <laughs> yeah, you, know? yeah, you will respond. <laughs> but it's like a lot of times I'm talking to myself while I'm doing stuff. And when we first moved to LA, you know, I'm not very tech savvy. I don't really like know how to set up gadgets and stuff. Cause I, I, I don't care. I don't care for it. But anyways, we we're moving and uh, working from home. So this one day, Mom was asleep. She usually sets up my computer for me. And I was like, okay, she's asleep. I don't want to bother her. So let me go ahead and put on my big girl pants and like figure out this whole computer system and trying to plug everything in. So I was plugging everything in and I turned on my computer and it won't turn on. And I'm just thinking like, what the hell? Like, why is it not turning on? And I was like, okay, whatever. I don't need my computer right now, right? And it's connecting to a bunch of different other things. Just to let you know, it's not like a regular laptop where you just plug in. There's a bunch of other wires that you it's have. It's a desktop. So yeah. it had a, it comes mm. with a monitor, keyboard. Yeah, and um, a mouse and uh, everything. Yeah. So anyways, I was just like, I'll just 
you know, I'll just wait, you know, and then like Ma gets up and I tell her like, <laughs> you know, I, I try to set it up, but I don't know why it's not turning on. I'm not sure if it's our like electricity, <laughs> like, is it off? I'm not sure. And then Ma looks at it and I, <laughs> I we, ended, we will answer a photo. a photo. I ended up plugging the plug back into itself. Itself. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Why? What? what happens? It's not like an extension hour. It's like this. You know how it comes with a bunch of. Uh, um, and then it has oh, like a plug to oh, plug oh, it to oh, the wall. So she took the plug that in and she plugged it plug in. Plug in, in the yeah. 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 Oh my god. Oh, I have a photo and a, we will. I took a photo because I had to. It was just. Yeah. Was so just I was so telling mom, I was like, I don't know why. Like, I was so proud of myself. Like, yeah, I'm doing this. And then, like, I was like, the computer's not on. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for her to wake up and she can help me figure out all these <laughs> wires, you know? Cause it's going everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so she wakes up and she's like, she's like, girl, really? <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, I think we laughed for a good yeah, two, yeah. two I was like, before, 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 before I applied before I imagine her reaction. Yeah. Those, those were my blonde moments. And just like with us, like when we, okay. So in the Midwest, when you rent an apartment, it comes with a refrigerator, a microwave, mm -hmm. and a stove. And standard. Well, yeah, yeah that, that's completely standard. And I didn't realize Not that. here in LA. Yeah, in LA is mm -hmm. so different. I, I had to buy my own refrigerator. And I was like, what? Yeah. I had to go shopping and buy my own refrigerator, get it delivered, yeah. Yeah. put it in. That's and so different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like when we moved in, like obviously we had a stove, we had a fridge, we got an apartment with that, and we had to get a refrigerator. And um, I just remember, microwave. oh, a uh, microwave, yeah, sorry. Um, and I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna um, boil, <laughs> heat up, how am I gonna heat up soup? I'm yeah. like, in a saucepan. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I feel like that's yeah. like another blonde moment. Cause like, to me, I'm so used to like, just sticking into the yeah. microwave, you know? And yeah, because like, I don't have a microwave. How are we gonna heat up soup? And yeah. I was like, on the stove top. <laughs> <laughs> because we're talking about how to heat up certain food because we didn't have a microwave. We're yeah. like, oh, we'll use the oven for most of the things. And then that's where she goes like, well, what about soup? I'm like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we're never, we're never going to make it. I, I use while. half of my brain when I'm with somebody. But when I'm by myself, then I'm forced to like use, you know, there, there's like that TikTok where it's like, yeah. when you're with your man and he's like focused on like, okay, like this is right here, the like, exit is right here. This person yeah. looks sketchy. And then like the girl's just like, doo, 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 doo. like she's yeah, not really yeah. thinking because she's with someone who's thinking for her. Yeah. So I, I definitely have those moments. I definitely have a lot more mo moments like that now than before. But the one thing that I always do now is like, I'm looking for my phone and it's like, it's in my hand. Or it's, <laughs> yeah. as like the one <laughs> thing. Christmas yeah, phone. where the heck did I put my phone? <laughs> <laughs> you know, where is it? You got it in my hand. Yeah. What about you guys? Any um, blonde moments? No, like, just that telephone thing. <laughs> <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> Same, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember any. I'm sure I've said. You do. I've, I've told you out on it, but yeah. I don't remember either. Yeah. From what? <laughs> there was something about Donald. I remember there was something about Donald Trump. It was like, you said, oh, you're like, you're like Trump, Trump was that Trumpophobia or like, what is it called? Yeah. The the sphere of holes. What is it called? Oh, I don't know. Um, Spheres of holes. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a fear of holes. Trypophobia. Yeah. <laughs> she, 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 she like, I'm like, I don't know, fear of Trump. <laughs> because the way she pronounced it was like, it sounded like Trump, you know? So I was like, remember we were in the car? Yeah, I was like, oh no, I think I was talking about my fiance because I was like, he has trypophobia. And you're like, he fears Trump. <laughs> what? Trumpophobia. I was like, what is Trump? Like, Trump like, and I was like, we both started laughing. I was like, oh, oh no. I was, like, I was like, I don't know, it sounded like that. So. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, that was so stupid. Oh my god! Our last the other night we went grocery shopping and there was a big billboard. The name of the show something like "Following Travelers." <laughs> and it's on it was something like a uh, love that's blah blah blah. And I was like, that is so weird. I wonder what it's about. And she goes, Well, it's probably about travelers who fall in love. <laughs> Okay, well done. <laughs> <laughs> we have laughed for so loud. 
Oh my god, it was, it was the dumbest thing we've ever said. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> well, it's just like so. Me, me, and Elsie were in the car. We we're talking. So her, fr- uh, so her cousin or nephew in law texted oh, her like, yeah, was "Oh, do you guys want to come to my birthday? You know, we're gonna go to Top Golf. You know, and." Uh, where I'm gonna go we're gonna do it on November 5th even though my birthday is on November 6th which was a Monday so we can do it the day before and then Elsie oh, goes my birthday is November 5th she goes, she goes we oh. have the same day <laughs> <laughs> I don't know he just said my birthday is November 6th we both said oh wow you guys have the same birthday <laughs> and, and I was like I was like wait we just said his birthday is on November 6th. <laughs> Why did we think his birthday was on November 5th oh, we God. just said his birthday was on November 6th so hilarious Anyway, guys, you know, thanks for like kind of sharing your hacks and, you know, talking about all this crazy stuff. Um, I know adulting is hard and we're all just, uh, you know, trying to do our best. So hit us up. Let us know if you have any tips, any funny moments in your life. Um, That'd be awesome. Please follow, share and subscribe. Uh, Until next time. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.